Attorneys representing a man suing over a rape at the Tulsa County Jail say new evidence proves the jail did not properly care for their client. I'm Clay Loney. And I'm Shay Rossi. Fox 23 told you back in March when the inmate's family filed a federal civil lawsuit against the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office, accusing TCSO of putting their loved one in a cell with a sex offender. Fox 23 investigative reporter Ashley Lincoln joining us live now with the evidence and who made decisions on inmate care. Well, Clay and Shay, this all took place around 2015, and I'll, I found in these court documents that jail administrators were aware of the oversight and the medical treatment inmates were receiving. New Tulsa County court documents obtained by Fox 23 claim an inmate who says he was raped is mentally incompetent. The jail failed him. A jury made that decision during criminal proceedings in a separate criminal case against the victim. The inmate's family members told me it was clear their loved one suffered from a mental disability before the ruling. And at the time, he was placed in general population at the Tulsa County Jail. They put him in there with a known sex offender. They did nothing to protect him and his safety. He was yanked off the bed bunk, knocked unconscious, and raped. The new claims involving his mental health status backs up the allegations his family is making in civil court. Was it clear that this was someone who suffered from a mental? Yes. Yes. He was mentally ill at the time of booking and that he was denied his medication. Denying medications is something another case also claims happened during the time of his booking. Documents filed just last week in a federal case say the medical provider would deny inmates their medicine in an effort to save money. It's a lot like the other cases that we've litigated. The jail tells me they cannot comment on pending legal matters, but has since hired a new medical contractor along with a new jail administrator. The jail opened new medical health policies earlier this year to better accommodate mentally ill inmates. And they are still in the gathering phases of this lawsuit. Now the family, they are seeking $75,000, but because this is a federal case, it'll be up to a jury and they could decide to award the family and the victim more money. Reporting live from downtown, covering news that matters, I'm Ashley Lincoln, Fox 23 News.